In my previous video, I demonstrated the TTP229 16 key touch module. In this video, simple projects will be presented using the TTP229 module and I2C LCD display. The first project in this video is a touch tone keypad. This is the TTP229 interface with the Arduino using two wire serial connection. And we have an I2C LCD screen interface with the Arduino using I2C connection. And we have an active buzzer connected to a digital pin of the Arduino. The operation is simple. Every time we touch a button, we get the number of the key displayed on the screen. And also for each touch button, we get a different tone. And now for a quick demonstration. A quick look at the C++ sketch used in this project, within the loop function, we need to get the pressed key from the module by calling this function. Inside function get press key and using this for loop, we will obtain the press key and store it in this uh, variable here. And then return the value to the calling function which is the loop function. Now this part of the code was explained in more detail in my previous video. Back inside the loop function, this variable now has the number of the press key. So this if statement now becomes true. And on the LCD screen, we display the number of the pressed key. Next, we call function key tone to assign a unique tone to the pressed key. Inside function key tone, and based on the number of the press key, we assign the tone. So we have 16 unique tones for the 16 keys. In this next project, we have a personal identification number system where the user is required to enter a four digit pin number using the module. And if the number is correct, then the correct response will be displayed on the screen. If the number is wrong, then an error message will appear and asking the user to enter the number again. And now for a quick demonstration. Let's have a quick look at the C++ code used in this project. Within the loop function, we get the value of the pressed key. And within this if statement, we display the value on the LCD screen. And then we set the tone of that uh, pressed key. Next, we store the pressed key value in this array. And then we check whether we have all the four digits of the pin number. If so, then we go to this uh, function to check the validity of the pin number. Inside function pin check, we compare the, uh, the pin number stored in the array with the correct pin number, which is 2367. If so, then we display the correct uh, response on the LCD screen. Otherwise, we display an error message on the LCD screen requesting the user to try again. The personal identification system project can easily be integrated in a real-world application. Thank you for watching.